G'day everyone, we're Caitlin and Matt, also known as the Roaming Pickles. We've each taken 12 months off work to travel, beginning in Eastern Europe. We started our journey in Greece, and now we're about to explore Sofia, the capital of Bulgaria. A couple of days ago, we caught the ferry back from Naxos, um, back to Athens and just spent the night in Athens, just a one-nighter. And then yesterday we jumped on a bus from Athens and we're now in Thessaloniki. It was pretty nice driving through the Greek landscape. Like there's lots of mountains and, um, but this morning we are now on our way to Bulgaria. So we're leaving Greece today. Um, we've got another bus. So we're gonna go down there at 6.30 at the moment. It doesn't leave till eight. It's meant to arrive at one. We're not really sure whether we'll have to do like a passport check yeah at the i'd border. say at the border because they're not part of the schengen yeah i believe we can visit bulgaria for 90 days without a visa or anything so yeah can't see any yeah. issues you ready to go to bulgaria yeah king yep is that our bus cruising it's in? the right brand of bus ah the tour pulling up where they told us to meet it so it's in the bus that's in a linky that's a Oh yeah, and it's got Sophia underneath it. Got a five hour journey, hopefully, ahead of us. Yeah, see what happens at the border. Just your pack horse. Just got everything. <laughs> Let's go. Um, we just pulled up at the border crossing, had to get our passport stamped from the Greece side to say that we're leaving, and then the Bulgarian side as well. How exciting! Bulgaria, here we come. You checking everyone's passports as we go over the border? Good job. We just got off the bus, um, exchanged some Australian dollars that we still had for some Bulgarian yeah. lev. For one Australian is one fourteen lev. Yep. We made it to our Airbnb, dropped our bags off. You walk in um, and there's just, this is our little bed, followed by a little lounge room and kitchen. And that's right in the way. So it's got a sink and this little oven and stove thing. That's, that's the extent of the cooking equipment. <laughs> and a little wooden spoon thing. So the kitchen is not really that functional. This is the bathroom. Check this out. It's actually, I've never seen it before. It all looks pretty normal to start with, but if I just squeeze into the corner, that's the shower. So you literally shower like onto the toilet and sink and stuff. And there's just a shower curtain to cover the door, I guess. So that's a bit interesting. Can't fault the actual shower head and water and stuff itself but anyway that's where we're at all right it's a new day we're um, gonna try and do some typical sightseeing today I think more so with the local cuisine yeah we want to trial out a few different dishes that are traditional to Bulgaria um, but we want to also check out some of the big buildings yeah, and stuff. Yeah, there's a couple of nice buildings, really old buildings. In the city centre area. A couple of k walk from our hotel that we're in. If you can call it a hotel, yeah. our apartment. <laughs> um, this is the local area that we're staying in now. It's interesting. Bit of a park, but yeah. Quite old, I guess, like most places we've been so far. Um, but yeah, so a couple of k walk. It's nice temperature. Yeah. It's nice weather at We're the gonna, moment for 10.30 in the morning. It's about 20 degrees. It's a bit overcast today, whether that hangs around or it always seems to be really hot and sunny in the afternoons. Yeah. So what's the first food on our hit list? We're looking for a benitza. Benitza. So. We found one. Yeah, we found a benitza. Benitza pie. I think it's got a bit of feta cheese in it. And eggs, it said. And eggs, yeah, it's a, a traditional Bulgarian breakfast, apparently. It was 590 left. Yeah, 
590 left. For we a don't flake. know whether that's a bit more than just at say a bakery because we are at like a proper cafe mm. on the main street. So I reckon we probably paid a bit more than what you could get elsewhere. Like pastry. Pastry and mm. cheese. Mm. We're going to keep moving around the city centre on our search for different types of foods, but on the way we figured we would stop and have a look at different historic sites as they pop up as well. So this is one of them. So this is St George Rotunda Church, the oldest building in Sofia apparently, built in the 4th century. And I don't know what this is all around it, maybe just part of its foundations or something. We uh, just tried to go inside <clears throat> and notice that there's a sign there that's saying you can't wear uh, like shorts. Yeah, <laughs> see through, you could see through the door and there was yeah. people actively in there and singing and prayers. Yeah, and that, something going so. on. But and you couldn't get any photos or anything inside either. But uh, yeah, really nice. City garden. We'll walk through here, I guess. Yeah, it looks looks really nice. It's busy. It's better than the local busy park than, yeah. <laughs> near where we're staying. All right. What should I do? <laughs> Did I do good? This is nice. This is yeah. a nice street. This is really nice, this area. We're in the upper class area, or the touristy area, I what, would say. What place are we going to look for? We're going to look for a cafe called Makitsa and Coffee, and it serves Makitsa, we hope, which is uh, like a traditional Bulgarian dessert. Worth the wait, hopefully. Cool view from the street. So it was 360 Bulgarian lab for mine, the cream cheese and fig, and 460 for Matt's. I've got peanut butter and Nutella. Really good. Yeah. What do you got? My mouth is watering. Was it like a little bit salty? Mm. Mm. So it's basically like a deep fried dough with your spreads on top. And it's like a donut. It's pretty good. Mm. They cook it right there in front of you, so you know it's very fresh. But it's a bit salty, the actual dough itself. If that's what Bulgarians eat for a living, I'd, I'd tag along in that. <laughs> well, that went down pretty well, but it is lunchtime and we technically have only had dessert. So yeah. <laughs> I think we should go try something else. Yep. So we've come to a place called Devaka. I'm thinking about this. Tata meatball with french fries, red onion and homemade Iva. Iva? 10.99 Lev. And I'm going to try Panagyerski style eggs. Poached eggs with white cheese in garlic sauce for 8.99 Lev. Alright, we've got a bit of a drink. Milk with cocoa. I thought it was like hot chocolate and I guess it is but no it's actually just milk with, with cocoa, cocoa on top. <laughs> 3.79 Lev it was. And I got a beer. Zagorka Special, it's called, for three ninety nine leather. Nah, <laughs> you meant to have it with your meal. Here's your meal. Oh, there it is. What's it called again? Panagurski style eggs. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Panagurski. Wow, I, I was going to laugh at you. <laughs> You've done well. Mm. What do you think? Very garlicky. Very. The, the yogurt's cold, but the eggs are still warm. I, it's, it tastes really good, really nice. Um, just don't know how much of it I could have, I guess. You can taste the dill and the garlic in the yogurt. That's more what I can taste, and then the eggs kind of just a texture on the side. I've got my tata meatball. It's cold which sauce usually is, I guess. Let me try the meatball. The thing we've all been waiting for, meatball. It's kind 
like a beef patty, I guess. So this will be our first trial, but we believe in Bulgaria it's pretty standard to tip when you're being given a service. Uh, we're thinking it's 10%. So, so we're going to uh, pay for our meal and then we're going to go for a walk over to the St. Alexander Nevsky Cathedral. I must admit, like the main part of the city, city centre I guess, the, here we go everyone, the um, infrastructure, yeah, infrastructure and, and buildings, they look, they look very well presented. The top of this building is nearly as shiny as your head, Matt. Oh, it's not that bright. <laughs> I think we've walked straight into like a, an electric vehicle Show. seminar thing. Right at the bottom of this building. Yeah, oh, it's like an electric truck. We're here for the building, Matt, not the cars. <laughs> Let's go, this thing. Anyway, here it is. So this is the St. Alexander Nevsky Cathedral. Google tells me it can hold 10,000 people inside. So it was, it's a memorial church built with the efforts of the whole Bulgarian people in memory of the thousands Russian, Bulgarian, Ukrainian, Moldovian, Finnish and Romanian soldiers who laid their lives for the liberation of Bulgaria from the Ottoman Empire from 1877 to 1878. That's impressive. We did go inside, but we couldn't take any footage, understandably. Yeah, but yeah, definitely a must going inside the, the ceilings and the paintings. That's a very high ceiling. Yeah. That's one of the highest church <clears throat> roofs that I've seen. Just the detail and everything to look at, it's just, ah, oh, it's magnificent. All right. On our way to a soccer match. Yeah. If we can get tickets. We got, got tickets. tickets. <laughs> There's the stadium up there. Probably can't see it. Um, it was 40 levs each. We don't know. There was different prices, but we didn't really yeah. have time to see what was what. So we just got what he gave us for 40 levs each. And we'll show you where we end up. So the game is between Levski Sofia, which we're thinking is the home team, and Cherno Moor. Um, don't know who's who's what colour yet, but um, there's a lot of blue. Yeah, a lot of blue. So we're thinking maybe that's Sofia. And I've got Manchester City jersey on. Blue too. So hope you don't get bashed. Hopefully back. we're not on the away team and but we'll find out. Oh well, we, we got made, in. We made it in on our way up. Do we even have to go up these stairs? I have no idea. It smells like popcorn. Yeah, it definitely does. The security were like pretty big and scary. Oh like blocking off the gate, well, but then I showed them my biceps and they moved. You're not allowed to bring in needles, knives or Food. Yeah, you got, you got that? I got that. I mean, I don't got that. <laughs> Alright. I don't care how much your popcorn is. <laughs> oh, very nice. Not bad at all. Who are we going for? The blue team. <laughs> You can't beat them during the main. All right, we've found our seats. Very early for the match. Yeah, everyone's out, the, out in front of the stadium having beers. Looks, looks like we're back in Levski Sofia. I don't think we have much of a choice. We don't know what they're saying, but you just know when it's an insult. They're just throwing abuse at the other team. Got a red 
Jad, unlucky. Every second person is chain smoking here, I feel like. three rows of stairs because he got pushed over them. Like running down the grandstand trying to get in on the action. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they weren't even watching the game. No. <laughs> Everyone was just watching the fight happening. It was probably, what, 20 metres away from us? Yeah, yeah. But luckily they didn't bring any knives or guns in, so yeah. we're laughing. A couple of flares. Yeah, a couple of flares. Yeah, very interesting. All right, let's go home. Got to catch the metro home. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure which metro it is. Which but... station we're at, but we'll work it out. So 160 Bulgarian lev per one-way ticket. Got two. We've got to catch um, one line about, I don't know, a couple of stations and then jump over onto another line to get home. We've just got to swap to the second train now, second line. Yeah. It's really nice. Actually. Yeah, it's spotless compared to um, Greece Metro. Yeah, like whether it's just newer or I don't know, but it's quite nice. Yeah, and it's clean. You feel and... pretty safe and. walking down our street at night time. Still lots of cars and people getting around though. Today has been pretty old, pretty boring for what? Today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Music. I don't know what that was. <laughs> I've always got to come back and get this camera. Hey. 